Welcome to the HBM Test and Measurement FAQ video series. Hi, I'm Mike Hoyer, HBM Applications Engineer, and in this video, I'm going to provide an introduction on the hardware and software setups for the Genesis Mainframe's Digital I.O. 44 pin connector and provide a couple of examples on setting up a speed signal from an encoder as well as a signal for measuring distance. The digital I.O. on Genesis mainframes includes one 9-pin I.O. connector and one 44-pin I.O. connector on the Gen 2TB, 3i, and 3T mainframes. On the Gen 7i, 7TA, and 17TA mainframes, there are three 44-pin I.O. connectors in addition to the one 9-pin I.O. connector. Now this video is going to focus on the 44-pin I.O. connector. There is another video that focuses on the Digital I.O. 9-pin connector. The 44-pin Digital I.O. connector is enabled when a supported card's hardware is inserted into the mainframe. Now this includes the card you see listed here. Now connections include 16 event inputs for the card in slot A and another 16 event inputs for the card in slot B two event outputs for card A and another two event outputs for card B, plus two timer counter connections for card A and another two for card B. Now on mainframes with three 44-pin I.O. connectors, simply substitute references to card A with card C and card E for the second and third connector respectively. Likewise, substitute references to card B with card D and F for the second and third connector. Here are the pinout connections for the 44 pin connector, which can be found on the mainframe's datasheet. Now each mainframe includes a 44 pin DB connector kit for creating your own connection cable. Please note that the 44 pin connector will only function when a supported acquisition card's hardware is inserted into the mainframe. Also, complete technical details on each digital I.O. function can be found on the Acquisition Cards datasheet. Now, just a quick overview. If you want to use all 16 event inputs on card A, you would use pins 1 through 12 and pins 33 to 36 and a ground pin. Now, if you want to use the first event output channel on card A, you would use pin 40 and a ground pin. And if you want to use the first timer counter channel in card A, you would use pin 12 for clock, pin 11 for direction, and pin 10 for reset and a ground pin. To use or set up external event inputs, go to the settings sheet and click on marker channel under the general header. Now any channel can be turned on or off and any or all event channels can be displayed in a display sheet. You can also invert a marker via input, set a trigger mode via trigger, and set an alarm mode via alarm. To use or set up external event outputs, go to the settings sheet and click on recorder under the general header. Then right mouse click on the header and select show settings then advanced. Make the desired selection for the recorder output 1 via the pull-down menu. You can also make the desired selection for the recorder output 2 on the pull-down menu. To set up the timer counter function, go to the settings sheet and click on timer counter channel under the general header. Now any channel can be turned on or off and the name can be customized. In this example we'll use the name speed. Next, click on the timer counter under the input header and select the desired timer counter mode from the pull-down menu. You can even select the desired precision or reset from the single coupling pull-down menu. For our speed example, we'll set the timer counter mode to RPM bidirectional, the signal coupling to single precision. Pulses per rotation will be 1024, and this is based on the encoder's specifications. We'll set the technical unit to RPM. We'll set the range from 
to 50 RPM, and this is based on the expected minimum for the application. And we'll set the range 2 to 5,000 RPM based on the expected maximum for this application. Now the remaining selections can remain in their default settings, and then if you like you can create a display with the speed waveform. You can even add a meter for mean speed by clicking and dragging over the variables under recorder A. Now as seen here in this example, I ran the encoder up to about 30 RPM in one direction, and then minus 30 RPM indicating the opposite direction. Now here's an example of acquiring and displaying distance. In this case, timer counter mode is set equal to count unidirectional. Signal coupling is set to single precision. Reset mode is set to manual, however other options include start acquisition, first external pulse, or each external pulse. Technical unit is set equal to millimeters, range from zero, range to a thousand, and depending on your application, you may want to uncheck or deactivate the invert reset pin. You can also choose to create a YT and XY display as seen here. In this case, data was acquired and displayed over about a five second period. Well, that completes an overview of the Digital I.O. 44 pin connector. For an overview of the 9 pin connector, be sure to view the Digital I.O. 9 pin connector video. Well, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please feel free to call, email, or visit our website for the latest product solutions and downloads at www.hbm.com.